my name is Tim Hungerford. I'm a professor at an AACSB accredited college. I'm also a certified public accountant, a certified internal auditor, a certified information systems auditor, a certified management accountant, a certified fraud examiner, a certified government audit professional. All right, one of the most basic concepts that accountants need to learn is what's on the balance sheet and what's on the income statement. What are these things? Well, the balance sheet is a picture. It's a snapshot of your business at one particular moment in time. If it's the year end, it's December 31st, take a picture. That's what you have. That's what it is for a balance sheet. The income statement, though, really looks over the course of time. So it's like an entire year's worth of activities. It tells you how you did for that year, how much money you made, how much money you lost. That's what the income statement is. But now let's try to look at that a little more in depth. So if we look at the balance sheet, we're going to use a seesaw as our example. We're going to label that BS. That stands for balance sheet, just in case you were wondering. Balance sheet. We want this to always be equal and balanced. And what are our assets? That's the stuff that we have. Stuff. That's the stuff that we owe, that we have. Now, it needs to be in balance, so we'll have liabilities. Liabilities are, well, I didn't have the money for it, so I went to the bank. Somebody else allowed me to be able to get that asset. They allowed me to get that asset through some sort of credit. So I owe someone. So it's, what do I owe? Do I owe? To other people. And then finally, we have equity, which is what I'm worth, what I'm worth, or it could also be what I already had. So to get an asset, I can either dive into my pocket and see what I already had or what I'm already worth and use that to buy that asset. Or I might gotta go to the bank and I might get a loan to be able to buy that particular asset. All right, so I am now your balance sheet. This is my assets, this is my liabilities and equities. To give you an idea how things happen, let's say I have no money, I have no net worth, I have nothing. So I need money to start my business. So I go to the bank, they give me $100,000 because they think I'm a good guy. So I have $100,000 in cash, but there's another side to that. I now owe the bank $100,000, and now I am back in balance. $100,000, $100,000 liability. Let's say I go out and buy some inventory. So I, my cash goes down as I buy that inventory, but I received inventory. So my assets go back up. I have that stuff now. So my balance sheet has stayed balanced through those transactions. Now let's turn our attention to the income statement. Remember, the income statement is over a period of time. So it's the revenues that we've collected over that period of time. So let's say we were owning a pizza shop. So all of the pizzas that we sold would be the revenues that we would collect. But we would have to pay our employees, we would have to pay for our cheese and our pepperoni and our dough. Those are all expenses related to those revenues. And when you net that all out, Hopefully we've made a profit, and that would be on our income statement. Of course, if we lost money, that would also be on our income statement. But I like to think that we're going to be profitable, so the income statement acts like a watering can to our equity. So remember, I'm an accountant, not an artist. So this is our watering can for our income statement. Our profits, as we make profits, will make our net worth go up, or our equity go up. Of course, if we lose money, it will take what we had before, take out of our net worth. So the income statement feeds the balance sheet through the equity section. And again, this is based on activity related to our business. It feeds into our entire snapshot called our balance sheet. 
So that's the basic fundamental difference between a balance sheet and an income statement. And I hope that helps you out. If you have any other topics you'd like me to talk about, please let me know down in the comments below. And also remember to subscribe. Thank you very much.